So I've been on a, a good scoping mission. What I'm trying to find is some nice flowers, to be honest with you, within this rock formation, or something different in between, in between these this limestone paving I'm struggling. I've gone all the way pretty much to the end. I found a pink flower. <laughs> the one I've been searching for for a long while. It's just a little group of this. I don't know what type of real small, beautiful little flowers, pinky purpley flowers. We've got a little bit of a leading line leading up to the viaduct. Some nice light catching every now and again. So it's just a matter of picking that light out. But I'm just, to be honest with you, I'm just enjoying chilling out and letting the day pass, to be honest with you. Ready for the, the main event. So we are at the uh, position. Now, the photographers are far and wide, so we've all got his own opinion on how to take this image. You've got to think about the composition, and I have gone a, a little walk up and back down, and, and the things we've got to think about is, do we want these the gaps within the viaduct, which is what I want. I want the train to be, my main part of the train is want to be two thirds away along, so we get the steam running back down the viaduct. It's quite a still day as well, so I think we're going to get a nice trail of steam. Fingers crossed. I've had a look at the, the focus. I focused two thirds of the way up somewhere here, uh, somewhere there, and um, took an image and it's focused all the way through at F8, so I can actually start taking that image as the train comes along, but try and get it in that that um, that prime spot, which is two thirds away along, along that stanchion there, I think it is. Uh, and the other reason why I like it from here is because we've got Ingleborough in the background, which had some lovely light on it. Hopefully we'll get some nice light on it. The other thing I'm going to think about is, do we take some exposures now to blend for later? Maybe, which I'll probably do, especially if the light changes. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, especially if we get some foreground light, because at the moment we've had no foreground light. Had it nice on Ingleborough, which it is now. So I'm going to get some images of the of Ingleborough and hopefully some light on the foreground, just in case I want to blend them images. Um, so it's not quite straightforward as we're thinking. The wind, what a little breeze we've got is blowing this way, so the, so the steam is going to blow over this side. Not so, I'd rather it sort of be ideally just straight up, but it, it's going to, it shouldn't be too bad, it shouldn't be too bad. But again, if it was really breezy, that steam would cover the whole of the, the viaduct there. So um, that wouldn't be ideal, but it is what it is. So that or you go over the other side and then you, you'll have other problems with compositions and things. I think if we, you move close to the viaduct, then we lose them gaps within the stanchions, which then it doesn't look more like a viaduct. Now that would work if the light's coming through the viaduct, but it's not gonna work at the moment. So this is why I've chose this position. So chose it so we've got Ingleborough in the background, we've got the stanchions where we can get more definition in the viaduct and then the the, uh, the train on that two thirds of the way up. Okay so we've all set up, ready and uh, we're just waiting for the action. So another thing I would suggest you do is obviously get up here early and bring some refreshments. No, no, I call it though. Are we going to get the white smoke? I'm not so sure. Come on, he needs to put his foot down. What a beautiful sight though. There we go. Come on.
Where's the steam? <laughs> oh, no. What a sight though, what a sight. Okay, so we've got the shot. I'm just spin around, right in. And <laughs> that's it. Well, I must admit, <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed because of the smoke, or lack of it. Fantastic to see though, fantastic to see. <laughs> what a machine. Um, but it, it's all about the photography and the composition and, and learning as well. Um, it is not just a simple, let's stand there and get that. It's about where personally you prefer to get that image. Uh, but I've got some good shots and I hope you like it. It's a quick one. I'm going to head back to the van now, go and get a cup of tea. Martin's on his way already, so hopefully I'll have that kettle on. I'm going to get packed up now and I'm going to, I'll say, head back to the van. Hey, I brought Cooper here a few years ago and just to remember him by, I'm going to screw it to the post. There we go. Love you, Coop. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Just because you think it's a, a fired up with a train coming over doesn't mean to say you have to think about your thought, thought process and, and what you're going to do. And, and we've. It's, it's done it again. He's done it again. He's here, isn't he? He's here. Oh my God, there's, there's a bloody load on him. This is the thought process you have to think about when, you, when you're vlogging. <laughs> you know, you know, I'll give in, I'll give in, I'll give in. <laughs> oh, your book has fell down hole now. Oh, fell down that bloody hole again. <laughs>